Welcome to Virtualize Everything, where we strive to educate and inform the viewer about technology and technology-related topics around the world of virtualization. Tonight's video presentation is going to be about changing the IP address on your Proxmox server. I recently had a requirement for changing the IP address on one of my servers as I was looking to relocate it to a network that had a different subnet domain and IP addressing scheme. So with that, let's look at how I did it. It was a real easy process. I selected the server. Then I came over here to system and I selected network. Now here is our standard configured bridge that is set up with the installation of Proxmox. If you haven't configured a custom network, this is what you'll see. Your network device and then your bridge. So we can select our bridge. As you noticed, our bridge has a configured static IP address that is identical to the IP address that we use to connect to our Proxmox web interface and work with our Proxmox server. So then we can hit edit and this IP address right here can be changed. So say you were going to a network with 192.168.1.1 or 1.255, but you were going to a network that used the 192.168 addressing scheme, you would just enter it there. We're saying on my same 10.10.2 addressing scheme, and this server right now is called 164. Let's just augment it by one to 165 for today's test. And then we can click okay. So now the process isn't finished. You can see that it changes here and we have a file here. If you're used to working with this file, you'll notice that there's actually two addresses in this right now. So what we need to do is apply this configuration to the new network bridge IP address so that we can begin communicating with this server on 165 instead of 164. We'll do that by pressing the apply configuration button and clicking yes. Now you'll see this continuously reload a few times and I'd like to let it go a few times before I try it just to make sure everything's taken effect. Standardly, this screen would go away and tell you it was successful, but with the server's IP address changing, it won't. It's just going to sit here and keep loading, but we'll be able to go and we're presented with a new screen and there's the server. And the IP address you noticed has changed and everything's ready to go. But see, back here, at this screen, it's still actually continuously loading. If we were to exit it out and then try to interact with the server, you're going to notice that we actually can't even interact with it anymore because the IP address is wrong. So I hope you found tonight's video informative and now know how to change the IP address of your Proxmox server using your Proxmox web interface. Please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help virtualize everything, continue to grow, and bring you more educational content about virtualization. As always, have a good night.